Tonse! Tonse, people, my name is Sin K. You can call me Sin for short. Welcome to some more Sly 2 in the Band of Thieves. Brief recap. Last episode, we finally got the Contessa. We captured her. Uh, also, Nayla got Nayla, Constable Nayla got promoted to captain. And then we also escaped with Carmelita and we just went our separate ways. And now we are in Canada, I believe, to stop somebody else from the Claw Gang. And without further ado, we're just gonna jump right in. That is all, I believe. All right, well, let's look at the loot. Damn, that's this place is expensive. What the what, what the hell? All right, we'll we'll go out a slide. I guess we have to anyway. I've got a lead on the clockwork parts. Head through town and out into the wilderness. I hear. Whoa. Poor guy. All right. Well, we're probably gonna get most of the. Most of the bottles is 30 this time again. All right. All right. Is it is it always just 30? I wonder. Nobody confirm or deny that, please. <laughs> I'll figure it out. Also, I want to apologize if I feel a little bit low energy. A very heavy topic. I had a, a kitten pass away on me. I believe they had liver failure. They were, uh, I guess, malnourished. I, I don't know. It happened so fast. Like, it was so unexpected. I, I feel a little down from it. I took it took a couple days off of not recording and doing anything just to grieve. Uh, he was a little guy, and he was the smallest. Like, he was, the, like, the smallest one out of everybody. This is probably the third kitten out of this litter that passed away. So, I'm very sad about it, but, like... I tried everything and I didn't have money right away for a vet and I didn't have enough for the proper medicine so I had to use home remedies. I was already too late. Basically just to, to give you guys a rundown of what happened, I went to bed one night, wake up and my cat was just super skinny and like just really really in bad shape and couldn't even lift his own body weight so I was just really concerned and I phoned the vet asked how much it was just for him to check and he said it was like 400 just for that day if I go in at that time and I was like damn and I didn't have any money so I was like shoot and because I thought it would be like a hundred bucks right by the nearby clinic for for the vet because last time I went it was a hundred bucks but that was with a, a older lady anyways yeah so passed away in my arms i stayed with him till the end i tried to bring his sugar level and everything up and nothing was working oh my god but yeah that's the heavy topic sorry that i had to get into that it's just if i'm a little low, ener low energy this episode is that that's the reason why i just whew, that was really hard for me overall i'm doing better now and I'm recording this in September, so you guys are probably seeing this till October. Remember, I do these videos in batches, and yeah. Okay, that would be six. Oh, wow, this, this place is actually really cool. Like, when I mean cool, I mean, like, how they got the essence of Canada and much older game because this is how it is there's lots of snow and lots of green all at the same time it's it's perfect uh, now if i see a poutine oh it'll just be that what really run 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 oh oh that okay well that doesn't track me that's fine bruh okay there's a goose there is that a goose Oh, it is a goose, right? Or a duck? I can't tell from the, this angle. A medium nugget, gold? What? Oh, poor guy. Oh, there's more coming. <gasps> no, that's not what I wanted, crap. How did you spot me from there? What? Oh my lord. What? Oh my god. Why? That's oh, nine. That would be ten. 
But we're already low on health. This sucks. Oh, there's 11. There's treasure here. What the hell? Interesting. Well, this is cool. Well, that was easy. What the hell? All right. Okay, now I don't know how much bottles I need. Like 10, 20 more? I was going to say 10 more, but... Oh, we need about 29 more. Right? No. That's wrong. 29 more. 19 more. Oh, my God. 12? Oh, shit. And there's 13. And here's 14. And this would be 15. We're halfway already. Oh, and here's number 16. Look at that, dude. We're so good at this game. What the hell? There's a fucking bear. Where'd this bear come from? Can I hit it? Hold on. Oh my god! Oh, why did I think that was a good idea? Oh my god, that bear destroyed me. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, look at that. 17? There's number 18 right here behind this big bear. Run, 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 run. 18, 18. Oh my lord. We're just gonna grab this and go. Run. We're gonna grab this and run. 45 seconds. Oh my god. Before it self destructs. Oh, I'm sorry, bear. I'm running. I'm running, Mr. Bear. Run. Oh god, they're following me. They're following me. I'm almost there. Please. We did it. Hell yeah. We're so badass. Oh, shit. And this bottle would make number 20. Ten more to go. And this is 21. What? Oh, I fell off. And this is what? 22? Yeah. Yeah. Here is 23, 24, this is so easy dude, what the heck, here's 25, there we go, there's a lot of dog traps here, 26, Really? I've got a lead on the clockwork. Well, I just had to learn the hard way. And this would, I think, make 27, right? Yeah. Hell yeah, we're making good progress. This would make 28. Ta-da! Well, here we are. I've been looking all over for you. 29, and number 30 is just over here. Wow. 30. There we go. You guys got the quick edited version. That took me about half an hour to find these guys. All right. Let's start this first mission then, shall we? That cabin may seem rustic, but don't be fooled. It's the control center for Jean Bisson's trade empire. Sneak inside and raid his files. You're sure to find out where he keeps his clockwork parts. Ransacking his files doesn't sound hard. Now, climbing up a sheer rock wall? That'll be a challenge. You're in luck. Before Jean Bassan took over, this used to be a popular destination for rock climbers. Some of their old wall hooks are still around. I'm guessing I just jump and hit the circle button to latch on. That's right. And remember to lean back before you spring off the hook. You'll get more altitude. Thanks for the tip. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the tip. I will give it a try. There we go. Wasn't so bad. Jackpot slide. That's Jean Bisson. Looks like he didn't notice me come in. Just stay out of sight and take a picture of each of his train routes. 
They should narrow our search for his share of the clockwork parts. All right, I'm on it. Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course. Oh my god. Chum always. Although must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Yes, of course. One must keep blood on brain. But do tell. Is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? Oh man. Yes, we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Bullseye. For a second. What? How did he break it? What? How did he find me? What? Hello, Arpeggio here. Salutations, Mr. Arpeggio. Y'all got time to shoot the breeze? Of course, for you, chum, always. Although, must we communicate through that dreadful speakerphone? Yeah, I can think better while my legs move. Pumps blood to your brain. Oh, come on. Of course, one must keep blood in one's brain. But do tell, is there some pressing matter you'd like to discuss? First off, are you still a coming on schedule to get that Northern Lights battery? There we yes, go. we're well underway. My blimp should arrive at the end of the week. Iron Horse 3 route map. Bullseye. For a second, when are you gonna give me a look-see at that clockwork? Oh, there's right? so many more maps. I'd sure like to buy it off you. Be song, you covetous troglodyte. You've already got the lion's share of the parts. Would you take my meager portion of the robotic bird for your own? Oops. And strip me of all my earthly pleasures. Easy there, partner. You're all up in a lather. It's just that I found some real use for the clockwork parts I got. Why, I put three of them in the engines of my best trains. With those robotic doohickeys feeding the fire, them trains will run all night and all day. I call them Hell yeah. my iron horses. Sly, did you hear that? Besides hitting the iron horse blueprints in his trophy bass. Head for the fish on top of the fireplace and steal those plans. Sounds like... Iron horse blueprints. Excellent. Now get out of that cabin before you're spotted. That'll do fine. By the way, you ready to giddy up into Perry for the final hoedown? Yes, the blimp's hypnotist wavelengths. Oh my. The specs drawn up by the Contessa and Dimitri before his... Oh my god. That was nerve-wracking. I don't know how he spotted me the first time. Like, what? After analyzing Bizot's decorating techniques, I think we'll find the other trophy bass above the mantle in the two remaining cabins. All right, two remaining cabins. That shouldn't be so hard to get there. Run, 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 run. Look at all the parkour I'm doing. All right, if we destroy this guy immediately, that should come this way and we should be able to There we go. Yep, just like I thought. Get to the fish above the mantle and steal those blueprints. All right, it'll cause chaos down there. Look at all that fighting. Our military strong. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that was easy. On to the next. Here's the next cabin, the one with all the dog traps everywhere, or the bear traps, I mean dog traps. The last trophy bass is above the fireplace. Be careful. Attention all cabin. Be careful, he says. Tell from the boys at Ponderosa cabin there's some 
someone been in my hidden blueprints? Everyone stay sharp. This ain't no summer camp. I don't pay you boys to lie the game while there's a thief in these parts. Well, they're all fighting now, so... Hey, that's all the blueprints. Exceptional work, Sly. That's the last of the blueprints. All right, we're done with this mission. Armed with all three blueprints, we should be able to isolate and track the Iron Horse trains through that satellite dish. Top of the mountain, huh? Shouldn't take long. Oh my god, I almost... Ran right into the goddamn bear trap. Shouldn't be too hard to get up there. I mean, gotten up there before. Leave, we take this tree, it should take us right up there. Yeah. Oh, they're useful, all right. Look how fast we got up here. This is great. We've got total access to the train's GPS system. It's all on my computer. Head back to the safe house. I'll crunch some numbers and give you and Murray the rundown. Woohoo! Job well done. Thanks to Sly's efforts, we now know the location of all three of the local clockwork parts. Two lugs and a stomach. John Besson has grafted each piece to the engine in one of his iron horse trains. This improvement allows the trains to run all night and all day. We won't have the luxury of sneaking in while they're stopped. While they're in motion, the only way aboard is through a hatch on the caboose roof, which unfortunately has been locked down. These need to go. First, collect the spice gas from the balloons above town, and then land on the back of the caboose to blow off the locks. Once the way is cleared, I'll suit up and jump into Iron Horse number one while it passes near town. With some luck, we'll have the first clockwork lug in a few hours. All right, so I guess we'll finish slime missions now. So we can play as the other three, right? Two. Oh, well, that's all there is is slime missions. Okay, well, we'll do the one closest on the left here, but I want to get that vault part because that's what we originally did the bottle thing for. Oh shit, let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in! Sorry, I want money. A topaz, nice. Come on, get him. Yes. And now they're all fighting. Which is great, because now we can do this. One, two, nine. Ooh, what do we have here? Music box. Can we have something like that? Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out of this crazy man. Ten. Alright, we'll start the next mission immediately after that. Slow down, Bentley. What happened? Murray, he went out looking for a snack and got captured by Inspector Fox. Carmelita? 
She's here? Don't worry, Bentley. I know how to handle her. But I don't know where she's locked up Murray. I'm used to having all the facts. Calm down. Carmelita's not cruel like the Contessa. I'll follow her without being seen. She's bound to check on Murray sooner or later. Okay, that's... that's a good plan. Just don't get caught too. I don't want to be alone again. Aww. That's so sweet. Where's she going, bro? What is that on her head? Oh, that's a little toque. Oh, because oh, it's Canada, I see. Well, it's not a toque. It's a beanie to Americans. You Americans call it a beanie, but we call it a toque. Oh man, whatever you do, do not stop and turn around. Oh god, she's turning around. Oh shit, that was a little dramatic, wasn't it? Where is she going? Gotta keep my distance. What's she gonna do with that moose in front of her? Oh my god! She destroyed him! <laughs> I hope that moose doesn't turn around, man. Oh, no. That moose got messed up. I'm sorry, Mr. Moose. Damn it. There goes all the coins. She's got Murray locked up here somewhere. There's Murray. Oh no, she locked him in there. Oh. oh my god, that goose or duck. Hey criminal, you doing okay in there? I know it's tight, but you won't get shocked if you hold still. I'm okay. And thanks for that bag of jelly beans. I was starving. Won't be long now. Once I bust the other members of your gang, we'll get out of here. I'm grateful for the jelly beans and all, but aren't you on the outs with Interpol right now? I'm an honest cop. Busting the Cooper gang will prove my innocence and show everyone that Constable Neela set me up. You mean Captain Neela? I hear she got promoted. Whatever. Just sit tight. I'm going to look for your pals. Aww. Murray, I've come to break you out. Bad chance. This thing is triple padlocked and Inspector Fox is carrying all the keys. Come on, buddy. You know I'm an expert at pickpocketing. She's tough, Sly. If you manage to get a key, you'd better run for it. Carmelita's sure to notice and chase after you. Leave her to me. Hell yeah. All right. Got a pickpocket her now. The ultimate pit pocket. Hopefully she doesn't stay still. I mean, hopefully she doesn't turn around. That's one. What just Cooper? Ah, <laughs> she could chase me all she wants. She'll never get me. Oh my god, look what all is behind her. <laughs> what the hell? Hide and cower, worm. You 
You're no match for me. Say that now. Oh, dude, did she destroy all those others? And grab it. Run, run, run. What was that? Holy shit, man. She is dangerous as hell. Ah, oh, yes. The train right on cue. <laughs> this train sure is handy, man. I don't know where you went, but I know where you're going. Jail. Wow. Oh, well, look at that. She's right there. Right for our convenience. <laughs> oh, my God. I felt that thief. You may have felt it, but you cannot deal. Oh, catch me. I was going to say dealt it, but that wouldn't have made sense. How fast is she? Oh my god. She's pretty fast, not gonna lie. You know I will. So Alright, well Screw that duckling. Let's go, Murray. Thanks, pal. I was getting a Charlie horse standing in that box. My pleasure. You know how I love to mess around with Carmelita. Yeah, that's weird. See you back at the safe house. <laughs> that's weird. All right, next mission, which is probably tracking the trains i think i messed that up all right now we've made it up here should be able to activate this mission now oh god what's going on oh never mind the mission's down there oops here we are But the only way in through the caboose is locked. To blow the locks off, you'll need to collect the ultra unstable denatured spice gas from those balloons floating above town. How am I supposed to get up there to collect the spice gas? Murray's already commandeered this ice plane. Jump on its strut and he'll fly you up to a good paragliding altitude. Oh, and strap on a special vacuum backpack. It'll automatically collect the spice gas after you've popped a balloon. Sounds like fun. Once you've collected enough gas, you'll have to land directly on the train's caboose. Why directly on the caboose? Denatured spice gas is very unstable at lower altitudes. Unless you land on the caboose, you won't have time to get the gas tank to the lock before it blows up. So you're saying I either land on the caboose or get blown to bits? That's correct. Chemistry can be a harsh mistress. Oh boy. What? Hang on tight. We're going up. So I gotta paraglide down onto them. The spice gas is lighter than air. Popping balloons should keep you aloft. Oh my god, I can't even... Oh... So what, I just gotta land on that? Okay... Oh, I have to get more spice gas. Oh, I have to fill it up. 
Okay. See, that makes much more sense now. See, I wasn't paying attention properly, I guess. How much spice do I need, man? That did it. You got a full tank of gas. Time to land on a caboose. I don't think I can make it. Oh, wait. I might just make it. Is that Carmelita stuck? She's stuck there, dude. Oof. Badass. Oh my god, she's stuck. Oh shit, run. I'm getting back to the guys playing. Nobody fight me. Nobody fight me. Nobody fight me. I gotta do my job. Oh my god. Alright. I miss. God dang it. What? So it blows up if you touch the floor. Okay, well that that uh, didn't happen last time, so I found out the hard way, I guess. What do you think I'm doing, man? Oh, I'm just going to make it. Yes! Oh my god. One last one. Try starts to try and ends with. Um. All right, all right, all right. She's still stuck there. No way. <laughs> That's funny. Why? Why can't I turn? What the fuck? Oh my god. Ah. What? For some reason I can't turn when that when that happens. It's so weird. See like I can turn there, bro. For some reason I can't turn when I don't know. I don't get it. It confuses me. Mesh. Mesh. Amazing. Ooh, can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Can I make it? Oh, no. There's no way I can make that. What? This time. This time I'll get it. This time. Dude, why does this give me butterflies? Ooh, that gave me a lot of butterflies. Oh, cool guys, don't look at explosions. I didn't even move. I'm still on it. <laughs> oh, 
All right, now that we're done that, we have one more mission to do, but as Bentley. Come on, Bentley, let's go. Oh my god. Kill us some bears, eh? It's really... According to this timetable, Iron Horse number one should be passing by any time now. I, I see it. It's moving awfully fast. Just jump on the caboose and go in through the hatch. Piece of cake. I have to jump on that as Bentley? Oh no. Come on, Bentley. We've done it! Oh wait, John, I did just say it. After this, boys, we're gonna go into the wood and hunt some bear, eh? <laughs> really? Oh, no! Okay, there we go. It moves weird, like it like glitches out midway. So you see that? I don't know if you guys could see that. It's like a little pixel frame. Okay, Matrix. Matrix. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. All right. I guess we need to move. I guess the left and right. All right. Is it me or does this train look bigger on the inside than it is on the outside? I'm sorry. You guys need to sleep. I wonder if I could destroy him from here. No, I don't think I can. No, we're just gonna hit him with this. Bam! No, we're just gonna blow his ass up. Oh, I love that. Alright, continuing on. Sorry about that, old mate. We're so close. Like I said, man, this duck has a lot of, uh... Uh-oh. No! I fell right off! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh that moose! Sorry about that, eh? <laughs> <It's good. laughs> oh no. Jump! Jump! Oh god! No! Oh! My lord! Alright, there we we've done it! We've done it. That's right. I gotta shoot me off the side here, eh? Does he move at all? Can't I throw something over there? I wonder. Can't I just chuck this? I don't think I can chuck it all the way over there. Can I? Very sorry about that, eh? Oh, wait, I got a good idea. If I could do that, that means I can move that other guy off the way. There we go. And then if we go this way... You guys see what I'm going with here? Very sorry about this, eh? You'll understand the circumstances, buddy. <laughs> Really? I fall off at that moment? Oh my god. Oh, well, I got it anyway. Clockwork's long. Hell yeah. Outstanding. Chalk up one strange robot organ for us, and 
one less iron horse train for John Passan. <laughs> Things are going great. We've already stolen one of Jean Basson's three clockwork parts. However, Iron Horse 2 and 3 are going to be a little tougher to crack. First, I'll need to hop aboard Iron Horse 2 and do a little preemptive RC chopper strike to clear out the air defenses. Once cleared, it'll be up to Sly to work his magic in the interior to get at that second clockwork lug. Murray, you'll need to trap some of the local bear cubs in order to unlock a nearby hand car. We're gonna need it to catch up with Iron Horse number three. But don't worry, the cubs won't be hurt. Although I can't say the same for the guards. All right, people, that's where I'm gonna end this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know it sucks when things are just getting good but you understand that i gotta end it here <laughs> it's been an hour long almost an hour 20 i believe i just want to say sorry for also bringing up the cat thing you know i just if my energy seems low that's why it's just hard it is hard like usually i keep my kittens for a good six months at most uh, but I do put them up for sale after three and a half months to four months, and then I give them a name at six months, and then I uh, release them. I either give them to uh, a pet place or give them to a new home, or you know what I mean. And so it just sucks that he he passed away. He's uh, we started with eight little kitties, and now we're down to five. The first two died instantly, like they only lasted like a couple weeks. Uh, they just weren't strong enough. I it happens, right? And then this guy, I don't know, he he got skinny so fast and it just it just sucks all right it just sucks I, I did cry for a little bit and i grieved for a while but i think i'm okay now uh but if my energy seems low that's why i apologize i uh, hope you understand other than that i love this game this uh this is bringing up my mood a lot and uh, i hope you guys have enjoyed it you know what i mean uh halloween is just around the corner i believe and tell me what you guys are gonna be for the halloween or if you guys got plans i know i'm gonna go trick-or-treating with my niece we're gonna go door to door and i think i'm gonna be a werewolf this time or maybe i'm thinking maybe a zombie i'm not sure we'll see still still kind of figuring out what i want to be for halloween other than that i'll catch you guys tomorrow for another random video and with that bye, -bye. smell you later have a great day make sure to have lots of candy so you can have tons of cavities make sure to count your candy too for all those kids that come knocking on your door for halloween bye 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 bye, -bye.